Hey guys, Logabaus here, and welcome to Sunday Thoughts, a series where every Sunday I give my thoughts on a particular person, place, thing, or anything else that uh, that I can think of to give my thoughts on on a particular Sunday. And for this Sunday Thoughts video, I'm going to be focusing on one man uh, uh, who will be coaching this football team in the up in the uh, upcoming season within a few weeks. Uh, start uh, with their season opening game against one of their arch rivals. And that one man happens to be none other than the one and only Dabo Sweeney, the head football coach of the Clemson Tigers. Um, and the reason, I, I mean, the re there are a few reasons as to why I'm doing this Sunday Thoughts video on him, uh, but the main one, I w the biggest one I would have to say is he and Clemson won a national championship last last season won the last national championship against Alabama and Nick Saban just giving them the biggest loss in the Nick Saban era at Alabama 44 to 16 a 28 point loss uh, like I said the biggest loss that that a Nick Saban coached Alabama team has ever uh, had uh, in 12 years that Nick Saban has ever coached in, um, or has coached at Alabama. Um, and so Dabo Sweeney, this is going to be his, what, 11th or, tw or 12 full season with the Clemson Tigers as their head football coach. Another reason as to why I'm doing this Sunday Thoughts video on uh, Dabo Sweeney is because Last April, Dabo Sweeney and Clemson um, agreed to a 10-year, $93 million contract extension. I believe it was $93 million. I could be wrong, though, but I'm pretty sure it was 93 Anyway, which makes, him, which makes Dabo Sweeney the highest-paid coach in college football, uh, surpassing uh, the previous high record held by... Nick Saban in Alabama agreeing to a eight-year, seventy-four million dollar contract ex uh, deal, um, a million dollar deal, I should say, uh, and that's uh, and what can I say? I can't argue. Uh, I can't, I don't have any problem whatsoever with Davo Sweeney uh, signing a. Signing a 10-year, $93 million uh, deal with the Clemson Tigers. He deserved it. Uh, he deserves every single penny that he's getting, plus more. Now, I must say this, guys. Um, I, I already done my top five uh, coaches in college football in my last Battle 5 video. And in one part where I talked about Davo Sweeney being at second pl place on my list... I talked about how he's how he already won two national championships. Uh, it, it is one sixteen, uh, one hundred and sixteen to thirty uh, in eleven years with the Clemson Tigers, and has what was it? Uh, won uh, have not won less than thirteen games in the last four years uh, since twenty fourteen. Uh, it was when. It was the last time that he, that Dabo Sweeney and Clemson won less than 13 games, uh, and so I I'm trying to find what else to say about Dabo Sweeney because there's not much I could say. I mean, the man has proven that he's one of the best coaches in college football. Uh, he proves that he deserves to be mentioned in the same breath as Nick Saban, even though. Dabo Sweeney only won two national championships to Nick, to Nick Saban's uh, six national championships. Um, and is, what was it? Uh, Nick Saban is one, is 141 to 20 as the, as the head coach for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Um, his, his record, his bowl records, his um, everything. Uh, Nick Saban statistically is better than Dabo Sweeney. But, I'm just saying, don't count out Nat, Nick, uh, Dabo Sweeney and the Clemson Tigers as of yet. They, they still have 
plenty of national championships to win. If I have to guess how many titles that Dabo Sweeney will claim in the future, I would have to say three more. Uh, just three more titles that he and Clemson will claim before uh, Dabo Sweeney retires. Uh, and that will be the next, I don't know, eight or, or seven years or so, or, or what, whatever the case. I mean, honestly, uh, Dabo Sweeney, like I said earlier, has proven that he can do, that he can accomplish a more than he had already accomplished uh, in the future. And he will, for sure... Uh, at least as my at, uh, as far as my sneaky suspicion goes uh, he will be a future hall of fame a college football hall of famer um, or at least in the hall of fame for college football I, I'm not sure which one but yeah he, he will be in the Mount Rushmore of college football of, of all time great college football coaches um, at least as far as my prediction goes for Dabo Sweeney's future with Clemson, uh, being alongside Nick Saban, Bobby Bowden, Bear Bryant, um, who else? Um, uh, uh, Tom Osborne? I think that's, uh, I think that's Tom Osborne. But anyway, just among the uh, all-time uh, great college football coaches uh, and Dabo Sweeney I have no doubt will be on on the Mount Rushmore of college football so yeah I would expect Dabo Sweeney to claim at least two to three more t uh, national championships before he retires from co from uh, coaching in college football I would expect him to be among to be at least the best our coach in college football when when Nick Saban retires from coaching in college football because he's all Nick Saban is already what 67 years old and Dabo Sweeney is, has not even turned 50 yet uh, he's he's 49 and will be 50 later on this year um, which is pretty insane which is really cool if you really well I guess it's kind of cool I think it's more like wow he, Dabo Sweeney already won two, and he hadn't won a national championship yet. That's pretty unreal, especially in retrospect uh, on college football and stuff like that. So anyway, guys, th those are my Sunday thoughts on Dabo Sweeney and uh, why I think he will win a few more t uh, national titles before he retires, uh, before the day he retires. Not saying he will, I'm just saying that at, at some point, uh, a very on, very later on in the future, he w will retire, and so stuff like that. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, please click the like button and comment down below to let me know how many more titles you think Dabo Sweeney will win in the future. If you enjoy what you've seen here and you want to see future videos from me, please press up there to subscribe and turn on a notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great week, Bell Squad, and as always, fight the good fight.